here just see tomatoes we have so after two three whistles stop the gas and let it cool and then grind it either you use the mixy grinder or you use the beater so this is the beater i have so i don't want to take it out in the mixy jar i'm going to beat it with the beater the soup make sure whole steam is out and then you open the this thing cooker once the whole steam is out see this still steam is coming out now the steam has gone i'm going to open the cooker and show you basically my neighbor mrs auntie this recipe my neighbor aunt gave me so she told me put 3 carrots 10 tomatoes and two medium size potatoes here i have put nine tomatoes one huge potato and two carrots so everything is boil and we will let it cool and then we are going to uh, grind it in the mixture or you can uh, use the beater as per your need the soup was yummy so this is quite hot don't do it but i have experience so i'm using the beater be careful let it cool and then you i'm using it very carefully or you can churn it in the mixer so i don't have time so i'm mixing with the beater you can see and otherwise you cool it and then you grind it in the mixer so it is done then i will share with you how to go about it then we will season it with ghee and black pepper let me do it and then i'll show you so here if you see the whole of the soup is almost done beautiful color see this is the beautiful soup i have switched on the gas back i have already added 1 teaspoon of salt so i added approximately when i was boiling i think half a mug of water that is approximately 250 to 300 ml you can see how much it would be this much water only the bit of black pepper i have already added i'm going to add <coughs> roughly 1 teaspoon of ghee to the soup it is so easy to make uh, although aunty ji told me to add uh, tomato seeds also in the soup or she said the flavor will differ but uh, i avoid tomato seeds because they give stone so i don't want to add tomato seeds so this is again beautiful soup you see such a lovely soup it is i have not removed the shell of the tomato if you see you can see little little shell of the tomato tomato cover for those who don't like it once the tomato is boiled you can also remove the cover of the tomato or you can strain it whatever you want but this is lovely red soup lovely tomato carrot and one potato i put lovely although two medium potato is equal to one huge potato that i have added and three carrots you can add i added less but anyway so this is a nice soup wow such a lovely soup if you want i mean this is yummy soup i have added the ghee to it and the black pepper salt is as per taste <coughs> 
this is roughly four to five glasses this much you can make and this is pure tomato soup just see what a lovely color i don't think so that anybody knows how to make some people also add moong dal to the soup instead of tomatoes but i am not in favor of it because i tasted this soup personally and made me have the soup at her house it was yummy and see uh, there is lot of volume in the soup it's not just water water and we have not added any cornstarch nothing it is pure vegetables food pure food so i hope that you do try making your soup i'll serve it in a bowl and show you i'm going to add little more ghee to this for that extra punch now uh, it's winter so the ghee is not dropping back so and now uh, we'll just mix it wow i'm going to close the gas now come to a boil this is lovely home cooked tomato soup thanks to my neighbor aunty ji who taught me the recipe again i'm repeating 10 tomatoes and 1/3 carrot that is 3 carrots you can use although i have put only 2 in this and 2 potatoes this is a ratio tomatoes will be more and 1/3 ratio will be the carrots if 10 tomatoes then 3 carrots and two potatoes this is the basic ratio and then you can get the yummy tomato soup at home and for seasoning we have added black pepper and ghee in the end and while boiling we have added salt to taste do make a uh, tomato soup for real at home and just enjoy it thank you so much for watching This is from Happy Healthy Cooking and Lifestyle. Please do like and subscribe my channel if you like it. Thank you for watching.